how to pick a target like a pro. Hey guys, welcome to my guide. Uh, this is Kitty here, aka Ben. And some of the factors that I point out in this video can be situational. Picking the right target is one of the most crucial battle awareness you can have. And intense battles end up in elimination. Um, this will definitely help you pace your robots. And um, it always, always starts by analyzing enemies' robots. And now let's begin by looking at my first tip here. Target to lockdown. So the lockdown is very crucial part of the game now in domination and beacon rush. Uh, especially beacon rush when beacons are important. Not letting enemies get to uh, certain beacons first by locking them down really helps your teammate target that bot. So by right target selection, you avoid dangerous situations. Target tanky robots when you can, uh, especially when your teammates are targeting already because there aren't many robots that single-handedly can take down tanky robots. Even dominant robots like Ares won't be able to take down tanky robots one-on-one. -on -one. And tanky robots really threaten beacons, and if you don't eliminate them in certain places, they will hold on to that beacon as long as they're there. Now, if you have dominant one-on-one -on -one robots, uh, definitely pick a target that you can isolate. This was a situation when I was in an open map with weapon that can reach up to 600 meters. And on top of that, I have about 220 meters of long jump. So I was able to attract Aljun. Perhaps it wasn't perfectly one-on-one -on -one situation. Targeting enemies that you know they will follow you and creating that isolation does really help. Kill enemies with low HP first. And the reason why I say this is because of enemies' ability cooldown. You don't want low HP enemies to use their special ability to make a great sacrifice for their team. And you always want to outnumber enemies. Pick a target to counter. And what I mean by this is you become a counter build. Um, so you will be selecting targets that you are countered to. And I really enjoy running the Hellburner against Ares. And I really enjoy it because not many uh, builds can really counter this robot, Ares. But before you engage, definitely look for your counter builds. Now that we have active modules, passive modules, um, many different pilot skills, you can really be creative to counter certain robots. Once you have selected that target to counter, you really have to be careful not to show your robot. Pick enemies that are already engaged to your teammate. So basically, you're going for free hits. And this is very important because when you're selecting these kind of targets, you're really working as a team and taking enemies one by one. Um, it does also help because it's making your teammate's engagement a lot easier. No matter how good that enemy player is, um, he or she cannot pay attention to all six enemies. So you're really putting that player into a bad position. Target robots in cooldown. And this seems like it's the easiest one, but you really have to be careful in measuring up uh, the distance between you and your enemy because while you're chasing the enemy, uh, enemy's cooldown can really come back. And when their ability is back, then you're in a counter situation. So target enemy robots in cooldown within your range. Pick a target that you can outrange. And basically what I'm saying is, you go campers, this is your place. Um, to do this, you really have to know the range of enemy's weapon. It also works better when they're distracted. Mismatching distance is one of the smart ways to target your enemies. So once you have picked out your target, use lock-on when they're clustered. When your selected target enemy player is moving around in a clustered area, the targeting system can really mess up and target an enemy behind that player. And that misselected player can be out of range. So it is important for you to lock down before you use your ability and before you start uh, shooting at that player. If you guys have any other tips to share, uh, share it down in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. And I also have my own channel as well. So definitely check my channel out if you guys are interested. I'll see you guys in the next video.